As a little decoration on my camera, I'm going to try to take the label off of one of these disposable cameras and put it onto my digital camera. I figure some steam or boiling water ought to do the trick. So I made a pot and uh, I'm going to dump some boiling water on this since I'm making pasta anyway. This ought to be a little entertaining. Well, the water turned green. Fresh out of the boiling water, I figure I feel like this sticker should come off kind of easy. Although not as easy as, ah! <laughs> not as easy as I hoped. Maybe I needed to stuff this uh, soak a little bit more. So far, pretty good. Focus, Sony, focus. <laughs> and there we go. Disposable camera skin and a naked disposable camera. Pretty interesting look now. Has a little warning on the back. It says a danger voltage because if you do open this there's a capacitor in there that powers the flash. Actually let's see if that works after having been boiled. No. <laughs> Didn't think so. It probably got discharged while the water got in there. Uh, but uh, anyway, if you open this and you touch that capacitor, it may shock you quite like a taser and hurt. So, just a warning. So if you do open one of these, be careful about that. But I got what I was coming for, which is the skin. And I'll just let this dry out and maybe it'll get its stick back. Cayenne red pepper. Curry powder. Lots of curry powder. Yum. <coughs> All right, well, boiling the uh, label off of uh, the camera worked. Uh, of course, this is destroyed. Uh, did it matter? It was just whatever. So now there's the matter of trying to put it on the digital camera, which uh, is about the same dimensions, roughly. Uh, they're pretty pretty similar size. However, there's one huge difference is the size of this lens compared to uh, that tiny little thing. So naturally, the hole that's cut for that is not quite anywhere near big enough. So, um, to work around that, I, I guess I'll just cut down the middle of this and put it on each side. It's mainly just these colors and these graphics that kind of just give it that disposable camera look. And then maybe I can trim little pieces to just bridge the gaps between them when I cut it in half. So I'm going to try that. So 
this one part and they can go on like the bottom. That's gonna go to this side. That line straight across. There we go. I hope so. I've learned at least one important trick to reusing the stickers from the old camera. After you've used heat to loosen the adhesive and get them off, you don't want to destroy the adhesive or else you need to apply your own. So while working with them, dip them in water or soak them in any way. And the water will keep anything from sticking to the adhesive. This keeps it cleaner as well as keeps the adhesive from losing its property. Well alright, I diced up the uh, stickers off of this old disposable camera. That's about all that's left of it. Couldn't really make any use of those little pieces. Um, and uh, now we'll see what the results were. If the autofocus can catch up with that little visual trick there. Come on. Wake up. For real? Okay. Uh, let's turn this off, because obviously the zoom kind of kills the, uh, <laughs> the appearance of it being a disposable camera. But, uh, there it is. Kind of worked. Just made a little bit of a collage of the uh, bits and pieces. Tried to put them in places that made sense, like this is about the flash, and uh, well, that's where the flash is. Over here, this one's about winding up the camera, and it's right by a little, not winder, but rotation selector at least, that looks kind of like a winder. Uh, overlapped the bottom, just got lazy with that. But, uh,. Pretty pleased with it. It uh, kind of looks like a disposable camera, at least at a distance. Uh, that is until I uh, turn it on and that huge lens pops out. And then it's a little more conspicuous once I put the uh, viewfinder uh, isolation chamber on there, but uh, I'm still pretty happy with this. Not the finest work, but there you go. That's so one way you can kind of tone down your camera to like, uh, just like, not intimidate people and also it can have the benefit of people not wanting to steal it because it looks like a disposable camera and not whatever more expensive camera you might have. Thanks for watching.